All right, you guys, welcome. Um, we are here doing something a little bit different today. Um, I figured um, we'd go into music a little bit on the channel too. So um, today what we are going to do is a guitar tutorial for the song Meet Me in the Woods by Lord Huron. Um, Lord Huron, however you want to pronounce it. One of my favorite artists, one of my favorite songs. It's a very easy song. Um, it's just four chords. So even if you're new to guitar, hopefully I can teach you how to play this. If you know how to play guitar already, this will be very easy to pick up. It's a very fun song to play, one of my favorite songs. It's a song that means a lot to me. Um, so let's get to it. Capo, second fret. You're gonna have four chords in this one again. It's gonna be E minor, D, G, and C. And they're gonna be repetitive throughout this song. Um, realistically, most of the album, uh, Stranger Trails, is uh, actually based off of capo on C and these four chords. Um, the night we met. Same thing, same progression, very good. Um, anywho, let's get into it. So the basic uh, structure of this song is going to be intro, verse one, break verse two chorus break bridge which also goes into the chorus and then a break four times followed by an outro um, the chord structure for this is going to be for the intro e minor d g e minor g c so it's just gonna be easy just mess around with the strumming pattern um, I didn't look up how to play or anything this is just me doing it by ear everybody's is gonna be different just have fun with it um, going into the verse though the same kind of strumming pattern really um, but you're gonna go with E minor D and G same as the intro the last two lines of the verse though you're gonna do E minor G and C For the break, you're going to play the same exact thing as the intro. However, this uh, the break is the It's the oohs and the laws. Um, then you go into verse 2, which is the exact same as verse 1. I'll put these up on the screen there for you. And then you get into the chorus. Um, this is where it uh, changes up a little bit, um, but realistically it's still very similar. Um, since with the first you end on E minor, G and C, you're actually going to stay on C into the verse. Um, so I'm going to roughly sing it here again. This is very rough. I'm not a singer by any means, um, but it'll give you an idea of what I'm talking about. I should start out by saying I'm going to start with the last chord, uh, the last line in the uh, in the verse, and then lead into the chorus. So, bear with me. <clears> oh, <throat> the darkness got a hold on me. I have seen what the darkness does. Say goodbye to who I was. I ain't ever been away so. first uh, first words essentially of every sentence in that uh, in the chorus I like to do so take your middle finger on the C 
drum to see and do a little hammer on it. Changes it up a little bit. I feel like it adds a little bit to the song. Um, I enjoy it. You don't have to do it. You can just stay, stay with it. It's up to you. Um, but after that, you go into the break again. And then you go back into the bridge. Um, or I should say into the bridge, um, since it is the only bridge in the song. But uh, it is just yeah, the E minor, G, and C. Same as everything else in this song. And the truth is strange in my own water stream. No one the darkness got a hold on me. Essentially, from that, you've got the entire song. Um, you do the break again four times, which is the ooze and laws. And then you do the outro, which is just. Same thing. E minor, D, G, E minor, G, and C. Although I struck the D there, but it's okay. Um, that's it though. That is the song. Uh, just turn it on, play along with it. I'd sing it, but I don't want to kill the song for you. Um, very sung, very fun song to play. Um, one that means a lot to me. Uh, it really does. But uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's much different than anything we've done. So um, leave me feedback. Let me know what you think. Uh, if it helps you play the song at all, let me know. Thank you guys. Have a good one. Maybe we'll do some more. Who knows? We'll see.